hi guys welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be doing a audi beauty like testing their dupes basically that's a mouthful i don't know why it was basically audi do makeup dupes beauty dupes just like primark um i don't know how they get away with it i honestly don't because they literally like at least primark kind of change up like the packaging a little bit like audi is just like full-on they're not trying to hide it um and i don't think i've ever done a video like this before i've obviously tried testing the primark beauty dupes and i thought i'd do the audi ones because I saw a TikTok yesterday of all the new ones that came out and I literally ran straight there and I managed to get every single one. I've also got a foundation um, from like a quite a few weeks back now, but I thought I might as well use that foundation as well. And then the rest of it will be my makeup. But yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you the new beauty dupes and trying them and it can be my first impressions. Okay, so I thought I'd quickly show you the bits I picked up first and then I'll go through them and actually try them. Okay, so I'm literally just going to show you all oh, my bras showing in random orders. So this is the, look, they're all Lacura. Um, this is the 2% BHA toner, exfoliates and refines. This is a dupe of Paula's Choice. The packaging literally looks exactly the same. It's 100ml. Um, it basically says it effectively unclogs pores and fights breakouts, improves skin tone, lightweight and fast absorbing. I cannot wait to try this, although I have heard with Paula's Choice, it does break you out first, so you kind of have to stick with it. Um, but I've wanted to try that for so long, but the original one is so expensive. So I really do hope these are good. Then I saw this, which they had these in two shades. This is a dupe of the By Terry one, apparently. So it's a CC Serum Glowing Base, Hydrating and Colour Correction. Um, and I got it in the shade Tulip, but there was also like a peachy shade, I think. I wasn't really sure which shade to get, but this one said it was... Um, was it say per it says it perks up dull uneven skin tones and adds a rosy toned glow to the face so i thought i'd get that one then you've probably seen these everywhere but this is the bobby brown face base dupe i mean it literally looks the exact same one the primark one does look quite different i feel like than the bobby brown one this looks exactly the same um but i'm really excited to try this and like compare it to the primark one obviously i've not actually tried the bobby brown one um, but I can definitely compare it to the Primark one. The Primark one literally feels like putting butter on your skin. So I'm excited to try this one. But then they've also brought out the eye primer now. So they didn't have this one before. And this is the Vitabase eye primer. I've never used an eye primer before. So yeah, I've never used an eye primer before. I don't really know like what it's for. But it, well, it says a multitasking eye primer that moisturises and preps your under eyes for a hydrated and flawless finish. So I guess it'd be interesting to see if the concealer goes on better with this. Speaking of concealer, I picked up the Brightening Concealer. This apparently is a dupe of the Clinique one. There is a bit closer up. They had quite a few shades of this. I picked up shade one just because it was the lightest one. Um, the other ones were quite dark, so hopefully that's right. Then I'm not sure what this one is a dupe of. It's a hydrating tinted moisturiser. Please let me know if you know what that is the dupe of. I got it in shade one. Again, there was quite a few shades. Um, it's also got SPF 13, which is really, really good. So I might use this as a base um, in this video and then see how like full coverage it is. If it's not at full coverage, I will put foundation over the top just because as you can see, I've got quite a few breakouts at the moment. And then lastly, this is the Collagen Lip Oil, which I have heard is a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury one. I've not seen the Charlotte Tilbury one before, but hopefully this is really good. I don't think I've ever had like a collagen lip thing before. So I'm quite excited to try that. I did also pick up this, but it's not a... Um, new one so i don't think i'm gonna try it but it's basically a vitamin c hot cloth cleanser i feel like i might even try it. no i haven't that's what it looks like inside and then it just comes with a cloth so yeah i'm not gonna try that because i have already cleansed my skin um but i'm sure you'll see me use that in another video if it is good all of these by the way were around like 3.99 4.99 um so it does add up i think i ended up spending like 50 pound obviously i did get a few a few like food shopping bits but i spent around 50 pound in the end so it definitely does add up but if they're as good as the original then obviously it's a massive saving like i'm pretty sure you save like 20 30 pounds on each product if you were going to get the original one so it is really really good so yeah let me go through and try them all now and give you my honest first impressions okay so this is what the <laughs> face primer looks like so it's literally the exact same as the boy brown one and i have heard apparently it smells the exact same as well that is what it looks like how satisfying is that oh so it smells like like lemons or oranges which the primark one i would say doesn't really have a smell so it's definitely different already um oh i don't want to I don't want to mess that up. <laughs> okay. Oh, that, that broke my heart doing that. Let's try it. Oh, so it does feel quite similar to the Primark one. Literally feels like butter as well. Um, I guess the, like, interesting thing will be is, like, how well... Oh, I just realised I didn't use the toner. No, no, no. Scrap that. We're going to try the toner first. 
um, which would make the most amount of sense. I'm just going to put a little bit onto a cotton pad. I mean, again, like we're not going to see the effects of this straight away in this video, but I thought I might as well still try it. Um, and I will keep you updated with this because I did, to be fair, I did actually need a new toner as well. So I will keep you updated and let you know how it goes. Okay, now let's put this on. I feel like this is going to act as a bit of a moisturiser as well because I haven't actually moisturised my skin, but this is so moisturising that I think it'll be okay, to be honest. Oh, that is really smooth. It literally feels like butter. Oh my God, but it smells better than the Primark one. Okay, now to try the eye primer. It's literally like a mini version. How cute is that? I'm guessing it just smells the exact same. Oh, I would say that's not quite as strong, but it's the same texture. I kind of hope this is quite bright brightening as well because my under eyes are very dark at the moment so again i guess we'll see the effect of this once we try and put makeup on top of it because it says it's about having a flawless face okay i feel like my skin is looking kind of glowy but i'm going to add the by terry um cc serum to it as well and see just how glowy it can get because this is apparently a glowy base so let's put that to the test oh my god nearly fell um, yeah, the packaging, again, they're not trying to hide anything. It literally looks the exact same as a Biotary one. I have, I've seen the Biotary one. I've never actually tried it. Again, please do comment down below if you've tried any of these, like, original, the things that they're a dupe for and if you think they're as good because I would be really interested. I'm just a mess this morning. Listen, I'm not usually up this early. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know if you've tried them and they're just as good because I do find that really interesting. But yeah, this says it's hydrating and colour correcting. So let's try this i guess we just put a bit on the skin i don't know if it wants to come out let's just put a bit into my hand oh my god i hate that when you use a new product and it takes so long to get out there we go right oh my god okay i don't think you need much of this can you see let's just do one side of the face first and then we can compare i feel like it's always harder for like products to show up on camera obviously i do only have a phone at the moment as well i am getting a real camera for my birthday in a few days so then my videos will massively improve and you'll be able to see things a lot clearer um but for now i feel like it is really really difficult yeah see, i feel like i definitely feel like it has smoothed out my like imperfections don't you think i think it definitely looks a lot smoother this side um than the, than this side so definitely done that at least i will put everything on and then again i feel like with a lot of these like skincare bits it really like reflects on like how the makeup sits on top of it that's how you can sort of tell how good it is as well i will say as well it is quite tacky um which is good if you're going to put makeup on top of it because it means that the makeup has got like more of a chance of like sticking to your skin better so yeah that's quite good okay let's put the tinted moisturizer on and see how full coverage this is if not i will have to use a foundation and again with the color oh i just guessed it um so yeah this is shade one. Oh, oh my god that is quite that's thicker than i thought it would be i i didn't think it would be like a full-on foundation i probably should use a um sponge then i just thought it would literally be like a moisturizer so i was just gonna use my hands um wow that is actually really full coverage i actually can't believe oh sorry that's a bit tilted I actually can't believe how good coverage that is like for literally for a tinted moisturizer it's definitely covered most of my spots like with a concealer on top of that that'll be so good I definitely don't need oh I've got hair in my eye somewhere <laughs> that's the worst thing isn't it when you can't see where it's coming from but I definitely don't need foundation on top of that that is so nice and it feels so light I would definitely recommend that okay let's try the brightening concealer again this is a Clinique dupe so I'm going to try this under my eyes and then probably on Oh, that applicator is quite nice. It's like kind of like slanted. That is quite good. I like that so far. I feel like it's quite a good colour as well. Um, I do prefer a bit of a lighter under eye. Right, let's see how well this blends with the eye primer on underneath, obviously. So far, it's blending really nice. And that is such a good colour. I definitely see what they mean by brightening as well. I mean, I haven't finished blending yet, but I feel like it's already starting to brighten my under eye. I need to go in with a sponge because I can't get that close to my eye. <laughs> wow. Okay. 
that is so good can you see the difference oh it's so hard to show up on camera like it's literally so hard for it to show up but that is so good okay i've just put a bit on my imperfections which is quite a lot as you can see and i'm just going to blend these in i do feel like aldi smash concealers well i i feel like aldi just smash makeup in general like my last concealer that i'm using well i'm still i've still got a bit left of it that's an aldi concealer it's a dupe of the tarte cosmetics one and it's like probably one of the best concealers i've ever used and then this is a very close second this is definitely a better one for under your eyes rather than actually like covering spots whereas the tarte one um well the tarte dupe one is a bit thicker so it's a bit better for like spots and stuff but i mean this is still really really good and considering this is literally just over a tinted moisturizer I also do feel like I've matched the colours quite well, to be fair, considering I literally just guessed them. Right, I'm now going to do the rest of my makeup um, and then come back to you with the lip oil, the collagen lip oil, probably close to the end. So I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup. Um, I'll show you a bit of it, but I'll probably just time lapse it. And if you have any questions about what I'm using, then comment them down below. <laughs> Okay, this is actually a dupe of the NARS Orgasm Blush. Again, I got this a long time ago. It was like one of the first sort of dupes they did. Um, and it is a gorgeous colour. I'm going to show you, show me putting this one on um, and talk you through it because it obviously is an Aldi dupe. But yeah, it's like a really bright pink. You definitely do not need much of this. Um, or you will end up looking like a clown. Like it is very pigmented. Um, again, I've not actually used the um, NARS Orgasm Blush but this is really, really good. So I imagine the real one is as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that's like a mask. I keep feeling like I've got a hair in my eye, but I can't see it. So annoying. But yeah, I literally just do like a tiny bit because it is very pigmented. Okay, that is my makeup done. I'm just going to use the collagen lip oil and then do my lips um, with some lipstick. Oh my God, it's like a little rollerball. That is so cool. Okay. Is the product coming out? can't tell yeah <gasps> that is so cool oh my god it's really moisturizing that is so nice i'm gonna do my lips with this from primark it's the lip duo it's moisturizing lip gloss and lip liner so it's got a lip liner there and then a lip gloss there and it's a really really gorgeous color i will show you at the end okay that is my makeup done i honestly feel like it's so glowy and just like it looks kind of like natural like I don't know, yeah, like all of them are quite like subtle, natural products. Here it is a bit closer up. Honestly, I'm in love with all them products. I would definitely say my favourite probably is the tinted moisturiser, you know, because I was really, really shocked by that. I really didn't think that would be full coverage. I thought I'd have to put foundation on top of that. And also the lip oil um, is really, really nice. It's made my the rest of my like lip products go on really, really nice. I'm definitely going to be keeping this in my handbag because that is so good. And so is the vitamin base. Like... I don't know if it's better than Primark's one just yet. I feel like it depends how well my makeup stays on during the day. But in terms of like smell, it's better. Um, the texture is pretty much the same. The eye primer, I feel like definitely helped my concealer go on. And again, that'll be a test to see how well my eye concealer stays on to see how good that is. Um, and then the glow serum, I feel like is definitely responsible for this really nice glow. So more than happy with that. And then this, obviously, like I said, you're not going to see results straight away. Um, this is a waiting game and I will uh, I will update you um, if it clears up my spots and stuff. If it does, I'm literally going to go and buy like the whole shop uh, worth of these because that'll be insane. But yeah, that is testing Aldi's new makeup products, beauty, dupes, whatever you want to call them. Um, very impressed with all of them. Honestly, I do think Aldi smashes it. 
Um, so is Primark to be fair, but I feel like Audi slightly takes the edge because they're just not afraid to literally outright copy it, which like obviously is not really great for the original product, but it's good for someone like me who can't afford the original product. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please. Also, I do have a top on. I just realised I've been stood here this whole time like that and I've probably looked like I've got no clothes on. Um, <laughs> if you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.